Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let f in 2D plane of real numbers, it says it is a function such that f of 2 is equal to 4 and f dash of 2 is equal to 1. So that is the functions given to us and the question further tells us to find the value of limit x tends to 2. The function given to us is x square f of 2 minus 4 f of x divided by x minus 2 equals to 1. So we have been asked to find the value of this entire expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here from this question, they are. 4, 8, 16, and 12. So these are the four answer choices given to us here. If I talk about how to solve this question further, let's see. So if I have the function given to me, it says limit x tends to 2. The numerator is x square f of 2 minus 4 f of x divided by x minus 2. So here, if I try to put the value of x as 2 everywhere, it gives you 2 square, which is 4 f of 2 minus 4 f of 2. So 4 f of 2 minus 4 f of 2, basically that gives you 0 for the numerator. Denominator, if I put x as 2, it becomes 2 minus 2, which is also 0. So you have this limit in the form of 0 over 0. And that basically makes it an indeterminate form. So when I get this indeterminate form for the value of x, if I put it as 2, and I get this indeterminate form as 0 over 0, I understand that I can apply the idea of L'Hopital's rule here for this limit. So if I do that by L'Hopital's rule, what we can do here is when I can apply L'Hopital's rule, I can separately find the derivative of numerator and the denominator. So let's try to find the value or the derivative of the numerator and denominator separately. So if I see it gives you limit x tends to 2. Derivative of this f of 2 being a constant value because it does not consist of x. I get this derivative of x squared would be directly 2x minus 4. Again, a constant value, derivative of f of x, which is f dash of x. Taking the derivative of denominator separately, derivative of x is 1, derivative of 2 is 0. So you get this as 1. Further, limit x tends to 2. Now I have the function as 2x into f of 2 minus 4 f dash of x divided by denominator only 1. So if I just substitute the value of x as 2, this gives me 4 f of 2 minus 4 f dash of 2 divided by 1. That basically gives me 4 common. So you get f of 2 minus f dash of 2. So I get from here 4. f of 2, it was given to me, which is 4. So 4, 4 minus f dash of 2, we have been given that is 1. So that gives you 1. So 4 into 4 minus 1 is 3. So 4 into 3, which is 12. So from this, I get the answer to become 12 and that if you see matches with option D. So D becomes the correct answer here for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. This was a pretty easy question. We just substituted X as 2. That gave me entire numerator and denominator both turning to be individually 0. And that basically makes it an indeterminate form. Once I get an indeterminate form, I can just apply L'Hopital rule to take the derivative of numerator and the derivative of denominator separately. Once I did that, I just put the value of x as 2 and that basically gave me the answer for the question as 12, which matches with option D. So D becomes a correct answer here. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, 
if you're enjoying those videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.